Hi everyone, thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, we gotta keep moving, doing some exercises, some positions, in order to keep us busy on the jiu-jitsu uh, training. Uh, once again, thank you for your support. Okay, so here with Professor Silva is gonna be helping me to start the warm up. So we're gonna put our heartbeat a little bit higher. So we're gonna start with 50 jump, jumping jacks. Open your arms all over your head and open your legs the same length of your shoulder. Okay, let's do 250, everybody counts at 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Okay, after fifty, don't wait too much. If you have a gear on, grab your lapel, open your feet, the length of your shoulder, same distance of your shoulder. Point your toes a little bit outside. We're gonna do 20 squats. You can hold here if you don't have the gear, you can just throw your hands forward like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, keep going, keep going. Seven, stretch your belt, stretch your back, eight, all the way. Nine, nine, ten, one, or here, two. two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Okay, we're gonna do this set three times. Okay, if you, if you can rest thirty seconds between the sets. In the fight, we're gonna do the old and good rolling. We're gonna roll, roll forward, and then we're gonna roll, roll backwards. To roll forward, I just want to do this because the space is limited. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my hand on my shoulder, I mean my, my, my knees, and I touch, I'm going to touch the floor with my hand, and I'm going to touch my hand on the floor, okay? When I touch my hand on the floor, I'm going to push. When I push, I'm going to roll over my back, and I'm going to try to reach. Don't touch the floor with your hands in order to try to stand up. So I'm going to do this, hand on the floor, Elbows on my knee, I'm gonna push the floor, head on the floor, and I'm gonna reach. So you see I stand up, now I'm gonna roll back. When I roll back, I'm gonna slap the floor and I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll over my sh shoulder. This leg here steps the floor, I stand up. I stand up, I'm gonna do the same thing forward again. Boom, 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 boom. Reach. I will roll now over to the other side. Now this leg touch the floor, I stand up. We're gonna do that for 10 times. Okay, now we're gonna cover a takedown. Remember, we gotta keep it simple. So most of the times, look how grab my gi. You see, he grabbed my gi most of the time, he's gonna grab like that. When he grabs like that, I don't fight too much at the, the present moment because right now he's giving me this. Okay, I'm gonna grab here. And this is a very strong grip. You see? It's not like this, not like now, it's here. On this part of the gi, I come here and I do this. You see now, when I, when I, when I throw my knuckles to his armpit, his elbow comes up. That's what I want. That the space, the little space that I'm gonna go through. Okay. After I make my grip there, I'm gonna make my own grip here. So pretty much we are equal. So we have to see, but now I have more control because I have this. This, this is the hand who gives more control, but now I'm killing his hand. Stretch your arm, stretch here. See, he's stretching his arm very strong. But look, I pull, I throw, I throw my elbow up here. He loses everything. I put my forehead on his neck, here. And I can't, look my, 
look how my, my hip and my, my legs are. I'm making a base, a steady base. It's not a judo base, because the judo base is gonna be like this. But in jiu-jitsu, I cannot risk much. So I'm gonna adapt. Again, I'm gonna break his, his grip here. I'm gonna bring my head to his neck, and I'm, I'm gonna position myself to do what I want, okay? So right now, takedowns are very hard. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him help me. So I'm gonna push him a little bit. I'm gonna push him a little bit. And when he pushes me back, I'm gonna try to reach his leg. But what I wanna do is this. I will, I will push him back. He's gonna push me back. When he pushes me back, I will throw him up a little bit and I'm gonna spin towards his back. I'm gonna do this, okay? I'm going to end up on his side, even going a little bit towards his back. So I want to do this. This is the move I'm going to do. I, I won't step. I'm going to just give one, I won't give multiple steps. I'm going to just give one step. Boom, there. But my knee is going to be on the floor. Don't worry about your knee because he's going to be holding uh, uh, your weight. And he's going to, that way he's going to make my lens very easy. So I'm here, I grab him there, I break his posture, I push him a little bit, you see he pushed me back a little bit, when he pushed me back a little bit, I'm gonna spin towards his back, I'm gonna throw him up, look, boom, and I'm here, right? You see, my hand here is gonna grab the back of his knee, and this hand, you see, this cannot happen. My elbow, when I spin, my elbow, my right elbow here, must be connected in my body. You see how, how he, he went down when I did that? You see now, he cannot stand up anymore. So now you see, I bend a little bit. Take a look on my back. My back is stretched. My spine is stretched. Now look, I'm gonna push his knee and I'm gonna pull him down, he's gonna fall. And I'm gonna smash his leg and I'm gonna start doing my guard pass. Have you already two points? Four from the same thing. I break his portion, I push him a little bit. When he pushes me back, I throw him up and I die. Move. Oh, I get his knee, I take him down. Okay. Let's do it from another angle. Are you, are you filming or? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it from another angle. So he's gonna grab my knee, I grab his. I do my grip, he does his grip. I'm gonna break his posture, boom. Look what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna push him, when he pushes me back, I'm gonna throw him up, whoa, boom. And I push him, oh, okay, fall. Here. So again, to the other side, I'm here, look. I break, look, my spine, I push him, he pushes me back, whoa, whoa. And I push him. So now I'm going to work with the, the option that he's going to defend. It, it happens. Sometimes he has, a good, he has a strong base, he predicts what's going to happen, or I made a mistake, it was too late, whatever. So we were here, okay? So now I'm going to push him, I'm going to spin, and I'm going to grab his leg. When I grab his leg here, I'm going to grab my own lapel here to make sure he won't take his leg anymore away, okay? So now, I cannot st stand with his leg. If I stand with his leg, he's gonna give me a ultimata, oh, and I'm, I'm gonna be on the floor, all right? So, I gotta stand, I gotta stand up, so I'm here, I'm here, right? I'm stand up with this leg. When I stand up with this leg, this hand goes down and grab, the cuff of his pants. Okay, once here, once here, turn this way, please. Turn this way, yes. Once here, I'm gonna stand up with the other leg, and as, as before, I'm gonna grab his pants, his, his belt, and I'm gonna stand up with his leg. Now I bring his, look, I bring his leg outside mine. Now I'm in a very strong position. I'm holding here, I can even do this. If you want, okay? 
but I'm, I'm gonna stay here. Now I'm gonna step back with this foot. This foot's gonna stay. And I'm gonna squat, bringing this hand here down. Look. And I'm ready to pass this guard. I put my hand there, I push him, he pushed me back, I spoke to him, he defended. When he defended, I grab, I grab my, my, my lapel here, I slide my hand, I stand up his leg. Yes, I stand up his leg, I grab his belt, I stand up the other leg, I pull his leg outside my legs, and now look, I'm going to squat, I'm going to step back with his leg, Move, and, I'm and I'm ready to pass this guy. Thank you very much for your, your time. And uh, if you have any questions or any comments, just leave your comments on the bottom on your YouTube channel. And uh, I will be more than glad to answer any questions you have. And I'll see you next time.